Welcome back, baseball fans, to the 76789 Fall Carryover League. Today we are in the American National League, National League North Division, um, with a series between the Cardinals and the Reds. The Reds, well, this is their golden age of the Cincinnati Reds, some 76, actually 70, well, I don't want to put. Uh, uh, end marks to the beginning and the end of the their reign. So anyway, they're they're very very good. Let's put it that way. And the Cardinals um, are actually a pretty good team here as well, and they're trying to stay in the division race. But when we take a look at the standings, it was very tight before the series started. It opened in St. Louis, and the Reds have won those games in St. Louis pretty convincingly. And now it's starting to get away from the Cardinals a little bit. They lost two at home, and now they face uh, the idea of getting swept unless they can win a game in Riverfront Stadium in Cincinnati. Uh, today's starting pitchers will be Silvio Martinez for the Cardinals and a very suspicious Jack Billingham for the Reds. And the reason I say very suspicious is God, he's just not very good, is he? Uh, has a 4.32 ERA. Um, their number three starter, Bob Ochenko, because uh, they needed a lefty and they didn't couldn't have Fred Norman for some reason. They found Bob Ochenko out there available, and he's okay. Ochenko rotates with a 3.56 ERA. But if the Cincinnati Reds do not win a World Series this year, I hope it doesn't come down to the general mediocrity of their number three and four starters because otherwise uh, they're just rocking it so let's get started here from Cincinnati Bootsy Collins and the Cincinnati Reds Lou Brock leads off for the Cardinals 62 grounds to the pitcher batting second Joe Lee moved up into the two hole rolls a pitcher X um, Billingham is a 2 e8 he makes the play. Let's take a look at this Joe Lee card. Moved into the second spot because he doesn't hit in the double plays and he walks a lot, which is great, and I get all that. But the fun part about this card is when you flip it over and you see that he played for the Seattle Mariners in 19... Oh, no, he didn't. No, the Seattle Mariners don't even exist yet. What's going on here? Well, what they did was this is one of those extra cards they made predicting you'd want to play the 76 season and have um, some Seattle Mariner players. Um, so they took all of Joe Lee's stats from the three years combined and made a card for him. And a footnote to the story that when he actually did play for the Seattle Mariners in 1977, uh, he had 13 at-bats and um, through April, and then they cut him. So there you go. And they stuck with Dan Meyer to be their first baseman. So that's the Joe Lee story. Thought I'd bring that up. It's kind of interesting and weird. Babe McBride, grounds a third. All right. Bottom of one, Joe Morgan, 37, ball four. Do you want to steal off of the Zero Armor Simmons? Sure, why not? Uh, he steals second, and the it's not going to the tear inning. A Rose, by any other name, rolls the pitcher. Can Griffey is the sky to center, and with two outs, it's Foster. Short. Reggie Smith, 46, base hit. Ted Simmons, 3-6. Let's take a look at Simba. Another one of his, 300, 318 and 77. Simba, homer one of 17, two run blast, and the Cardinals are on the board. Templeton, base hit. Keith Hernandez, pops the third. Reitz. 5-4-3 double play. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Stop the presses. That is not a 5-4-3 double play. You had to hold Templeton on. That's going to be a single. Ooh, that hurts a little bit. Runs in the corners with one out. Different inning altogether. Oberkfell, 38. It's a base hit in the center field. Wow. Well, that's, that's what speed is supposed to do for a team. Even when you're not stealing bases. First and second, one out. Lubrock. Case. And with two outs, our boy Lee, 52, center. So, three-run inning. Kind of a BS inning there for the 
Cardinals. Reds don't seem to mind. The, yeah. Johnny Bench, okay. All right, Johnny Bench, that's, yeah, okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter what bench card you make. He'll hit it. Johnny Bench, 77 card, a meager 31 home runs, and a 275 batting average, and a solo homer here. It's 3-1. to one. Geronimo, third. Concepcion, center, and with two outs, Milt May, 65, lines a third. 3-1 and a third. Bake McBride, 4-11, right X. Griffey's a 3-E-7 in right field. He makes the play. Reggie Smith, right. And Simba again, walks. And it's Templeton again. Single dot, two on, two outs. Keith Hernandez, 58, pops the short. We're going to watch Billingham closely here. I don't want him to blow the series. Bottom of the third. Bob Beal is the first baseman. Let's take a look at this guy's card before he even bats. A nice on base percentage. He's a two on base machine. No power. Played for the Braves. Hit 243. He's your first baseman for the big red machine. Now, they had Tony Perez. They even had Bob Bailey. And uh, they, you know, because they're one of the best teams in baseball, they drafted late later in the draft. There was nothing but scraps left at first base at that time. And they had Beal uh, platooning with, well, who's he platooning with? Johnny Bench, really. Bench is the first baseman against lefties. But you know who would be a really, really good first baseman for the, for the Reds during this era? You know, even better than those guys. I got a name for you. You ready? Pete Rose. That's right. That's right, folks. How about if we put Pete Rose at first base for the Cincinnati Reds? Oh, wait. He was a third baseman, and he didn't play first base until 1979 with the Phillies when he hit 333. So if you have Pete Rose at first base after Perez and Bob Bailey and whoever else, Dan Driesen are gone. Dan Driesen's on the Ohio players. You could put Ray Knight at third base. So a little commentary there that I can't play Pete Rose at first base on the Cincinnati Reds because he, he didn't qualify yet. Anyway, let Bob Beal bet. As soon as I say that, Bob Beal hits that card. 3-5. Homer, one to six, fly ball, and he misses. He missed his home run. The one home run in 185 at bats. He did not get it. Darn! I had, I had you all queued up for a home run there, Beal. Tough break. Morgan, 33, first. And Rose, right. Top of the fourth, Kenny Reitz, 54, center X. This is Geronimo. E7, are you kidding me? Geronimo dropped the fly ball. What's going on here in Cincinnati? Oberkfell, base it in the center. Reitz will not challenge the Geronimo cannon. Brock playing back, 2-7, single dot dot, and the Cardinals have it going on here. I talked, talked about this Billingham card, it's, it's trouble. Joe Lee, lefty question mark for Oberkfell. 1 of 15 against the Foster arm, and he scores on the sack fly. And it's suddenly 5 1. Lou Brock will not challenge bench. McBride, base hit the left, though Brock will try and go coast to coast. And he rolled a 20, so he got thrown out on the bases. Wow, what a strange inning. Toronto makes an error. Lou Brock gets thrown out on the bases. What is going on here in St. Cincinnati? So we have two outs now, two runs in. A runner at first, and Reggie Smith. 68 is a walk. This could be the final batter for Billingham. 58 pops to short. I'm taking him out anyway. I don't like him. So inning is over. It's 5-1. He's going to come out after four because the Reds want to sweep these guys if they can. Ken Griffey, 2-8, third. Foster, 65, pops out. Johnny Bench, first X. 2-8-22, a base hit. Geronimo, 1-8, let's take a look at Cesar Geronimo's card. Like I said, these are pretty much the best years of all the extra players on the, the Big Red Machine, the 
the complimentary players, Geronimo, Concepcion, guys like that. And this Geronimo hits 307. 1 8 homer, 1 2 triple, and he, he rolls the 1. He gets the home run here, and we got a ball game. It's 5 3. Concepcion, 3 6. Homer, 1 2 double. Let's look at Geronimo, uh, Concepcion's card. <laughs> homer, 1 2, and he hits it. Both guys back to back, Homer, 1 2s. And we got a 5-4 game. What a crazy game this is. Milt May. This guy's all right. All right, Billy Ham's gone. Sid Manji. <laughs> Comes on in the fifth. Let's take a look at old Sid. Yeah. In some ways, well, I don't know how you want to say it. Definitely the top six reds are from different eras and represent a Hall of Fame team. But really, the rest of the roster is a, is a bunch of mixed parts from various organizations. Um, yeah. It's a very strange roster for the Reds. Templeton. 4-4. Four, four. Third X. Third is Rose. A 3-E-13. He makes the play. Hernandez. 46. Short. That's his Concepcion. And Ken Reitz, 37, as a ground of the third. All right, Silvio Martinez needs to go at least one more inning to qualify for a win. Bob Beal's the batter. 5'10", short X. Templeton, I ain't starting, I ain't departing. Kicks the ball, it's an error. Joe Morgan, the tyrant at first. 57, sky's the center. Rose, 56, sky's the right. And the two outs, Griffey, 48, double to right field. Does Beal have any wheels? He does. He's a 13. It's in right field, so it's 13, 14, 15, but Reggie Smith's got a minus three arm. No thanks. We'll let George Foster bat with two men on. George Foster, 59, and he rolls weakly to second base. That's a tough one there. Sixth inning, Manji, second inning of relief. Obergfell, Hayes. All right, Lou Brock will leave. Batting for Lou Brock will be Elliot Maddox. He brings defense and a right-handed stick against Manji. 57 is a K. So they improve their defense. McBride will play left. And Joe Lee's not, well, I'll let him give him one more at bat. He's only a DH. 4-4, four, four, third X. This is Rose, and he makes the play. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Bottom of the sixth, 5-4. Silvio Martinez is a starter six. Bench. 1-4, center. Geronimo, 59 left. Concepcion, 110 third. Very weird game. 5-4. A game of momentum shifting. In the seventh, Manji, third inning of relief. He'll face the lefty McBride and see what happens after that. 2-6 is a walk. Okay. Switch hitter, switch hitter, switch hitter. And then Hernandez. Uh, it's time for a pitching change. After two innings of Manji. Mm. Okay, they'll bring Ron Davis in. Ron Davis. Now here's a nice stud reliever they brought in. Steal, steal him from the Yankees. He was 14-2 with a 286 ERA and 79 for the Yankees. Setting up Gossage there. Uh, this is one of the good free agent additions for the Reds. He comes on in the 7th. The man on first to face Reggie Smith. Reggie Smith, 1-6. Let's take a look at Reggie Smith's card. And that... It's a two-run blast. What's interesting here is that Reggie Smith played for the Dodgers in 77, and Ron Davis played for the Yankees. Yankees and Dodgers played in the World Series, so Davis didn't play for the 77 Yankees. So that's a pretty interesting footnote. Two-run homer, Reggie Smith. We got a 7-4 game. The pitching move backfired. Simmons, 54. Triple one of 16 is a double. Templeton, 54 again, the same thing again. Switch hitter again, this time he gets the triple. And Ron Davis has nothing in the seventh inning. Keith Hernandez, 54! 
Third time in a roll. Same thing. Triple again. When is a pitcher giving up a homer, a double, and two triples in four consecutive plate appearances? Uh, that would be interesting to figure that one out. They'll bring it up for Ken Reitz. 69. Pops to first. Oberk fell. 59. <laughs> Second C with the infield up. Hold. Zone with two outs. Elliot Maddox, 54 again for the fifth time in the inning. A 5-4 is rolled. Fourth time in the inning. But a right-hander, it's Homer 111 double. Which makes it a single in this case and an RBI. And with two outs, our friend Joe Lee, 44, skies the center. By the way, I have to put this here in uh, Maddox's spot. There we go. All right, 10-4, uh, Cardinals explode. Uh, we'll let Sylvia pitch one more inning. Milt May, 45, short X, Temple in. 2E36, makes the play. Bizarre game. Bob Beal, 110, flies a right. Joe Morgan, 612, center X. Uh, the new center fielder is a 2E5. Maddox makes the play. All right, Ron Davis. Um, geez, down six. I'm just going to let the rest of the red bullpen get some work. And we'll have Buddy Schultz will pitch the eighth inning. Take a look at him, the lefty setup guy. He'll face McBride in the eighth. One nine, single one eight, lines out. Reggie Smith. 35, a walk against a lefty. Simmons, 512, pitcher B. And Templeton, 64, 1 to 13, fly ball, and it's gone. Wow, the Cardinals. They got it rolling here in Riverfront. Keith Hernandez, center, 12 to 4. Silvio Martinez is going to take the rest of the day off. He's going to relax. And it'll be Mike Wallace coming in in the eighth in a 12 4 laugher. Even though with the Reds, it should never be a laugher. Pete Rose, 57 Ks. Ken Griffey, 610, second X. Uh, Oberkfell's a 314. And Foster. Short. All right, we'll uh, stretch out the bullpen. Stretching out Bootsy's rubber band in the ninth. Stretching out Doug Bear. All this caused because of Jack Billingham's ineffectiveness. Hmm, something to watch. Uh, was this a poorly constructed roster? Hmm, I don't know. Manji's okay. They really have a great bench of 290 hitters who don't even get to play. And Bob Beal is okay to bat ninth on this team. And again, look. I'm not shed any tears in the reds. You got Morgan. These cards aren't even fair. Morgan, Rose, Griffey, Foster, Bench. All you need is five guys, and then the other four guys can strike out for all I'm concerned. Doesn't matter. Just give me those five guys. Um, ninth inning, Doug Bear against Ken Reitz. 410 short. Uh, 1 25, Concepcion. Thanks to play. Oberkfell, 58K. And with two outs, Luke, uh, Elliot Maddox, singles, and Joe Liss again, two, four Ks. Bottom of the ninth, uh, Wallace will leave after one. We'll let Butch Metzger finish this off to get some work in. Take a look at Butch. Buddy Schultz, Butch Metzger. Get them all confused after a while. Cardinal and Red future and former pitchers. So, in the bottom of the ninth, it's Johnny Bench. 48 to walk. Geronimo, 3-6 is a single. Here we go. Excepcion, 1-9. Oh, no, we don't. 6 3 double play, unfortunately. Burnett third, two outs for Milt May. There it is. Scatterite. All right, so the Cardinals were able to get the road win and keep this series going by a 12-4 score. Let's take a look at the year-to-dates for both teams. Doug Bear in the ninth, give up a hit in two Ks. Buddy Schultz, a hit, two runs and a walk. Ron Davis, my goodness, that was awful. Five hits and four runs. 
Manji. He gave up basically a walk and a run scored at big, um, in two Ks. And everything else was Billingham. Nine hits, five runs. Uh, only three were earned. Actually, that Geronimo dropped that fly ball really hurt Billingham's chances of sticking around. Mester gave up a hit and a walk in the ninth. Mike Wallace a strikeout in the eighth. Sylvia Martinez, very good start. Seven innings, gives up five hits and four runs. Uh, the gopher ball really hurt him here, but not enough to cause him to kick him out of the game. 1-0-9, 0-1-0-9, 12-16, 4-6. 4-5-2-1. That was game three. Man, they Reds just didn't like the win for Bootsy Collins. We saw that in the World Series against the Orioles when they got swept. And they lost today. They're not a good YouTube team, apparently. I don't know what it is. They won the first two games of the series pretty convincingly, and then all of a sudden they flopped in game three. So, year to date, those big red machine guys are 15 and 8 with a 286 batting average, a 421 team ERA. We'll have to keep watching that closely this year. And the Cardinals are 13 and 10, hitting 288 with 389 ERA. So it's just a little better than the Reds. So what does this do? Well, the Reds find themselves just a game and a half in front of Pittsburgh in two games ahead of the Cardinals. Could all three teams make the playoffs? Sure, they, it's still sitting that way. If you look at the rest of the National League, the Mets are hovering a game over 500. Uh, these guys are under 500. And the Dodgers just stumbled a bit against the Astros. So right now, the Cardinals are clinging on to that six. Three teams from this division could make the playoffs. That's it today from the National League North. Thanks for checking out the videos. We'll see you next time.